Let's head to New Hampshire to meet a future Big East star. Marcus Derrickson is a six foot seven inch power forward. He now plays at Brewster Academy, but he's from Washington, D.C. originally. Growing up in the nation's capital, he's always admired Georgetown. And it was a dream come true when they offered him a scholarship. Oh, that's just a perfect system, you know, playing for John Thompson III, you know. I just, I kind of dreamed of that, you know, growing up and stuff like that, you know. Um, watching them play Final Four back with Roy Hibbert, you know, I got to experience that, you know, watch that. I always grew up a Hoyer fan. Kind of like a couple other schools, but none of them really matched Georgetown growing up. Now he's committed to the Hoyas, and he's proving to be one of the nation's better front court prospects. But he's not limited to playing in the post. He has a good looking jump shot for a big man, and he says he can play anywhere on the floor. The guy just out there balling, you know, just do anything on the floor, wherever you need. I don't really like to label myself for this position, really. I like to do everything. I had the choice too. I would bring the ball up and be the point guard, but you know, I'm the tallest one on the team, so that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if I have to, I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll be willing to do it. But um, you know, just rebounding, score, um, shoot three ball, you know, just I can do everything, a little bit of everything. Marcus weighs about 250 pounds, so he's always been a pretty big guy. But he said his game really took off when he got serious about his diet. I mean, I'm still working on it right now, but you know, I had a lot of baby fat and everything, and it was slowing me down the court. And you know, just basically, I ate. Um, I did well on a paleo diet, and you know, basically the caveman diet they like to call it. You know, just eating like lean meats and like vegetables, dry fruit, and fruit. It really helped me with my, you know, stamina. Helped me have more energy throughout the course of the day. And, Alert, you know, alert and everything. So, you know, it just really added to my game. Now a leaner, stronger player, Marcus has dreams of not only winning championships at Georgetown, but also being a pro. I mean, the world, you know, some people just, you know, work hard to get there and don't do nothing with it. And they'll be right back out the league. But, you know, my dream, you know, is my goal is to, you know, play professionally, get there to the NBA. But my, you know, Long-term goal is to hopefully be a Hall of Fame, but you know, that just takes more redefining my game. With goals that high, Marcus knows his mental approach is just as important as his physical skills. The mental game is everything. I mean, you can be physically ready, but you know, if you don't have the mental, people are gonna pick you apart with your mental, your mental side. And you know, confidence is everything in basketball. You need that. And for instance, Larry Bird used to pick everybody apart with his mental game. You know, just. Charles Barkley, I like him a lot, you know, because he just went hard. He was an animal. You know, I just really enjoy players like that. Hall of Famers like that are great role models to have. We'll see how far Marcus's mental and physical gifts take him at Georgetown.